right to the right of the entrance, you have a six car, car elevator because you're never sure what car you really want. It goes down fully flush so you don't even know that it's a car elevator. And you could park two cars right on there and then two cars could be floating over 20 feet high. So you choose what car you want, you pull it right out into the turnaround and then it spins you around and spits you right out the gate just like Batman. <laughs> This extension closet has an entire glam section. It also has extra wardrobe, so you can do seasonal wardrobes. You also have the natural light and a step down outside fitting area so that your tailor can come over and do all of your fittings in natural lighting, which is really key. And if you follow me behind here is your pedicure manicure station. Also your shampoo and hairdresser comes right in through this door to glam you and get you ready for anything you wanna do. Here we are in the signature feature of this house, the indoor pool. And it is by far one of the most luxurious cool features I've ever seen. You have this gorgeous pool, entertainers area, and hammam features. Fun fact, Prince used to live in this house. So when Prince used to have jam sessions, he used to cover this pool and play in this very area. And one detail you might not notice is this pool is directly below the outdoor one and it is a very similar shape. And finally, the water feature that I showed you guys above is actually a skylight for this room. Off to the side here, we have massage rooms, steam showers, and sauna. This area combined is bigger than most people's homes. It's fabulous, it's great for entertaining, and it's super fun. So here we are in the entryway with this beautiful Allosaurus. It's a dinosaur fossil from the Jurassic era provided by GeoWorld. Stefano Pacini is the paleontologist. It's 63% complete, which is high in the dino world. It's about 150 million years old and it's for sale for $1.5 million. And with the right offer, I'm sure I can throw it in. So in the kitchen, we have dual island, Pietra Carrera marble, which is beautiful with hidden features like this. So if you're working from home and you want to charge your phone or your computer, you have that option. Nice hidden amenities. It reveals beautiful Miele appliances. You have your espresso machine, your ovens, your microwaves, your stove top here. And of course, you have the butler's kitchen right around the corner. So when they're preparing meals, you don't have to have the noise and hustle and bustle in your face. And of course, automated pocket doors. So when you have guests over, your whole kitchen spills over into your deck, exposing this unparalleled view of the corridor and to the ocean on a normally clear day. So with the doors open, you get this beautiful beach vibe with the ocean breeze coming in. You have champagne on ice, your friends coming over, you're sitting here taking the view in. Maybe some people are doing laps in your 80 foot infinity edge pool with a really nice backdrop where you have the city scope in the back and then kind of the foreground is a little more intimate with trees, privacy, the greenery. All the furniture in this house was custom made by visionaire Lorenzo Caccino. Very, very expensive. There's about a million dollars worth of furniture in here included with the right offer. Here we are in the boldest design feature of the house, which is the exterior shark tank and live wall behind me. As exciting as it is with the sharks, people seem to love to come out here, relax, and sometimes even meditate. Off the shark tank is the cigar room, which offers ventilation and a humidor to store all your exclusive collection of cigars. Whether you're conducting a meeting or just coming to relax and enjoy your cigars, you have a perfect view of your shark tank. So I said this house is for entertaining. What's better than a 2,000 square foot nightclub? You've got your own DJ booth. You've got six different vignettes for seating. We've got an elaborate lighting system, lasers, black lights, disco balls. There's even doors to lead out to the pool, but they're outfitted with blackout shades to keep the environment here dark so you truly feel like you're in a nightclub. It's even got a 2,000 foot marble dance floor. Bottle service here starts at $55 million. Welcome to the swimming pool area. There's a 75 foot length swimming pool and a pool house as well. 
Tons of parties were held here. During a birthday party, they had a swimming competition. Right before the starting gun went off, one of the competitors pulled out and asked for a replacement. Out of the tunnel walked Michael Phelps. Needless to say, anyone who swam that day didn't get higher than a silver medal. And these are the secret underground tunnels that lead you from the pool to the house to the outer walking grounds. They were built back in the 1930s by the original owner, Lynn Atkinson, who was a renowned civil engineer. And the echo is wild. Come on in. Look at these finished walls. Even with the lighting inside, it's so magnificent. Luciano Pavarotti used to visit Chartwell quite often, and he used to love to come down into these tunnels and practice singing because of the acoustics and the echo. Hello! And if you listen closely, you can hear the birds chirping, which echo throughout the tunnels. Wait till you see this. We call this the giant's head. It was first seen by one of the landscape architects over in Italy, and this is a replica. It's made out of paper mache, wiring, and a concrete type mixture. Not only is this the perfect modern pool because it's unobstructed and it completely spills over Los Angeles, but it's a double-decker, see-through, glass-bottom pool. You can see down to the next pool under and the next deck under, but what's even cooler, you can see right up. You have this really great reflecting pool, and it also is a great Baja shelf, so if you want to lay in it or you have young kids that are here, they can play right here in this little pool. Remember I told you about that double-decker pool? Well, here it is. And if you look up, you can see through the pool upstairs. Really, really cool. I've never seen anybody do it like this. We have another seating area over here, lounges everywhere. This house is meant to have fun, enjoy yourself, let loose, and relax. The first of two headlining amenities is this full-scale hockey rink. On more than one occasion, the San Jose Sharks have played on this rink. How many houses come with their own Zamboni? Not a big hockey player or a hockey fan? No problem. It's not only a stunning hockey rink, this structure can be easily used for a tennis court or a horse arena. Truly a versatile space as well. And finally, the golf course. This exquisite practice facility runs 110 yards. It features two greens, three bunkers, and multiple tee areas. So you can practice no matter what your skill level. And it's got views rivaling any golf course in the world. As you come out here to the dining terrace, you've got this beautiful several hundred year old oak tree cantilevered over the lap pool. It provides a beautiful backdrop and focal point of the property. You can entertain here, live here, and enjoy the backyard. The focal point of the grounds is really this organically shaped pool. It provides a great backdrop for entertaining, living, lifestyle, and lots of family fun in the summer and spring here. We've got a jacuzzi on the other side, which is great for the cold evenings. And then in addition to that, you've got access to the sitting area and the outdoor dining space as well. The entire backyard is enveloped in these beautiful oaks. And then you've got the beautiful feel and sound of the water, which is so tranquil beneath the huge oak tree behind us. It truly is the quintessential California backyard and great for the LA lifestyle. The architect named the house the Upside Down Home. Reason being that most of the square footage is actually integrated to the hillside below grade, which means the entertaining and public rooms are above, and then all the bedrooms are down below and exposed to the outside. This is the central atrium that sits between the two secondary bedrooms and the master bedroom. So if you peek in, it actually feels like you're outdoors and you're on the main level with the house. However, it's actually subterranean. Yeah. 